Okay, sections in a horizontal cylinder. Okay, so what we've got here is a horizontal cylinder, and um, as you know, these ellipses are really circles. So I've got a circle here drawn in side view. Um, what we want to do in order to, to draw um, a section, we want to draw a vertical section and a horizontal section, is we want to use these tangent lines and this middle line division. So we need to find those lines on this perspective sketch. So what I'm going to do to start is I'm going to use some handy, convenient little thing with a two-point perspective, um, and that is that the vertical lines stay vertical. So I can just basically take a vertical line and push it over until I touch my um, ellipse. And when I touch the edge, I've got a, an edge, a tangent, a tangent line. Um, let's just start by doing it on the front and we'll continue those lines through. So the next thing I can do is I can draw this line in the middle. It should be just a tiny little bit back from that um, symmetrical center. Um, but not too far, so just look at your spacing here and try to estimate that. Um, so I'll just draw another vertical straight through there. And that should be this line. Now once you've got this line, well, you've also got a reference to draw these. Um, and once we've drawn these, we've actually drawn a plane in perspective, a, a square plane. Um, so once I've got that, I'm going to just, I want to try and touch that. I don't want to cut through my ellipse in any way, but I want to touch that and I want to keep the angle sufficient so that it, it makes sense in perspective and that it can converge with this line here. So this one also should touch. Um, and as you see, I've got a plane now in perspective. Now, once I've got that, it's really just a question of following your perspective lines through this way to draw a vertical section through your um, cylinder shape. Of course, I could do the same construction at the back here, um, quite simply, just follow the same steps. Um, but I can also just continue these lines back in this direction. To, and just follow my parallel lines to make my, uh, my section, my vertical section. So what you can see here now is a vertical section drawn through my cylinder form, which can be quite useful if you need to add details or other things. Um, okay, and once we've got this square, you can also, of course, divide it this way. So considering these two lines, you know these lines which are touching these tangent lines, they're converging so it takes not much effort to draw another line that's converging in this way through here. Um, of course where it touches the edge of your ellipse here is where it's going to have a corner and then it's going to just follow through back right up here And this way, looking at this line, and this way, connecting up that way. So let me just emphasize this central axis line. So as you see now, I've got a vertical plane, which is here. And I've got a horizontal plane, which is here. So, um, it's a pity these two lines are really just on top of each other here, but that sometimes happens in perspective sketches. That's your big point. So let's just define that here, you see. And this one goes straight down. Um, I can also do this, you know, you can also construct a cylinder in um, uh, a block shape. 
using the same idea. Basically, by diagonally crossing these lines, I can um, find the middle and then I can create sections already. Um, so another way to actually draw a, a cylinder, a cylinder shape, is to create a block form and then what you want to do is use this diagonal and um, see where it crosses this diagonal. It's always just a little bit less than a quarter of the full length of this. So uh, let's see, that's a half. See, there's a quarter. So just a little bit back from a quarter of that is where the curve of your ellipse should go. So if I do that here, there's a half, there's a quarter, just a little bit back. I can see that that curve will go there. Half here, here, and here you see we got a very pointy one, should be about here. So in that way I can also sketch and construct a cylinder shape. So if you have trouble with your um, getting your cylinder, you can also construct it in a block shape. As long as your block shape has got the correct perspective when we're connecting this way. Um, and then of course you've already got your sections drawn by, because you've done that. Um, of course, this is also useful when you want to draw your drop shadows because then, um, or a cast shadow, because then you can basically just use these lines um, to define where your shadow is going to go. Um, in this case, say we're putting the shadow on this side, I can use these lines if that's the light direction this way, put one here this way. This way, the light angle here, then you can see this square shape is making this shadow. If I divide that um, again this way, I could even use the small third rule to construct a kind of elliptical shape here. So I can see that's going to be the shadow, the drop shadow, the cast shadow for my uh, cylinder shape. Um, okay, so important bits of theory. Um, you should learn this and um, it will help you a lot when we're drawing more complicated shapes at a later stage.